Religious NGOs have become critical to helping people recover from wars or natural disasters throughout the world. That was the main message from the Order of Malta's Grand Chancellor and Minister of Foreign Affairs as he spoke at a UN meeting in Geneva. The world faces new challenges and caring for refugees is one of them. It is estimated that there are over 40 million refugees globally. We have to start a discussion and brainstorming how we can deal with this new situation and develop new means and instruments to better or to improve the humanitarian reaction. The Order of Malta gathered for a conference at the UN headquarters in Geneva. Representatives of humanitarian organizations of different religions also attended. They stressed the advantages these NGOs have. For one, they are known by locals and are very sensitive to their customs. It enables them to have the locals' respect. There's a lot of good stories, but has not been heard by the media. And media only pick up on the negative ones. In Israel, there is an organization that is not welcomed by the government, even though it addresses the problems of the minorities. One Lebanese woman said that nurses from the Order of Malta who serve refugees generate confusion among those who have been exposed to religious fanaticism. They're surprised by Christians helping Muslims. Fanatics use religion uh, to, 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 create, uh, to create wars, but their, their, uh, their limits are when they see uh, the cross and the veil combined together. Also present was Silvano Tomasi, permanent observer of the Holy See to the UN in Geneva. The conference was organized to prepare for the world's largest meeting on humanitarian aid. That conference is being organized by the UN and will take place in Istanbul in May 2016.